My name is Nicole McKay with McKay Whale Watching and I'm 20 years old and I've lived here my entire life. I go out here every day out on the water. The major thing about Port McNeil is that it's the gateway to the Broughton Archipelago where that's where our most precious resources come out of. Our fresh uh, wild salmon, killer whales come here year round and it's absolutely beautiful. We've got mountains surrounding us and millions of tourists come from around the world to see what we have here. My biggest concern is that we will lose the wildlife that we have here right now. Um, with the decline of our wild salmon, I feel that our killer whales will be coming less often. I've already seen it this year that over 150 of our killer whales haven't shown up yet. In the past few years, we've seen so many killer whales here and it's been absolutely beautiful, but this year has been very different. Uh, so our, we used to see thousands of seining vessels here catching thousands and thousands of fish. And the biggest catch that I saw this year was four salmon. And that decline really scares me. And with the government not really wanting to do anything about it, that's what really worries me the most, is that they want to take busiest area on the BC coastline and put it in the back burner because they are more worried about their voting polls and money rather than what we have here. My vision for Port McNeil would to put more tourism in the area and due to our declining in logging, uh, we really need to boost up the area and we need to get our wild salmon back. Uh, I would love to see fish farms in close containment. Uh, that's what I think is our reasoning behind our wild salmon decline. If we do that, we could also keep that industry, which is a big major thing for Port McNeil. Uh, the families here really depend on the fish farms. Everyone can go up to the plant and it's supporting a lot of families. So if we could keep them close contained and keep their mess where it should be, we could all live here peacefully, I think. If I could say one thing to the decision makers, I would tell them that, you know, they can't keep looking at Canada like dollar signs across the country. They've really got to go to these places and see what's really here. When you ask a government official, you know, where is Port McNeil, they have no idea. All they know is, oh, okay, that's where we're making money or that's where we're not making money. I'd love to tell them to come out here and take a look for themselves and see why this area is so special to us all. And for the next generations coming up, we have to, you know, really pick these places up again. This is what's keeping, you know, the BC coast alive and I would hate to see it gone.